me EC Electronics. Today's video we are going to see about the recruitment of a Bureau of Indian Standards that is BIS recruitment for the post of Scientist B. Okay so this recruitment for the post of Scientist B is especially for all the engineering people. There's a lot of trades or a lot of branches for which they are calling uh, for this recruitment especially for Scientist B. Okay they are preferring a gate score for this recruitment okay so if you have a valid gate score of 2018 or 19 or the latest one that is 2020 if you have a valid gate score you can apply for this post okay so let us see all the details about this job this recruitment which is going to happen from the side of bureau of indian standards okay so let us see so as i said the post is for scientist b and the salary which is a very 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 high package it is 87,000. Wow, that's a great thing, right? It is 87,000 and the job uh, and uh, the location in which the uh, recruitment is going to happen, that is the, the job location can be in anywhere around the India, in any of the locations of Bureau of Indian Standards, anywhere around the India, the job location can be. But the uh, recruitment is going to happen. I'll, I'll tell about the recruitment details, what all things will be there. But all these things will be happening in Delhi okay the location for a recruitment not job recruitment location is at Delhi okay now regarding the number of vacancies for uh, especially we'll be talking about the electronics brands okay that is for EC there is five vacancies for electronics and communication that is electronics and telecommunication engineering branch there is five vacancies okay and if you're belonging to electrical and electronics brands there is 19 vacancies okay that is we are talking about EC and triple E. EC there is five vacancies and for triple there is electrical and electronics there is 90 vacancies okay 19 not 90 it is 19 now about the qualification what all things you need to apply for this post moving on to that qualification is 60 percentage of mark in engineering that is this is for engineering people okay so if you have an engineering uh, in electrical or electronics or mechanical there is a lot of uh, vacancies for various branches i'll give the uh, notification link in my description anyway if you belonging to any of this electronics or uh, engineering branches please do check out for your vacancies okay i'm especially talking for the electronics people that's why i'm saying the vacancies of ec and triple anyway the qualification is 60 percentage of marks in engineering if you are belonging to general category but if you belong to SCST or reserved category you require only 50 percentage of mark in engineering okay that this is the marks percentage for engineering I'm talking 60 percentage for general 50 percentage for reserved and SCST categories now the other important qualification you require is a valid gate score so this Recruitment is mainly focusing or mainly calling for people with a valid GATE score and the GATE score can be from 2018, 2019 or 2020 which is the latest one. So if you have a valid GATE score in any of these GATE exams which was conducted in 2018, 2019 or 2020 you can apply for this post. Okay now that is all the uh, qualification required. Moving on to the age details. The upper age limit is 30 years. Also, there is an age relaxation for SCST of 5 years, OBC for 3 years and for disabled people, there is 10 years. There is also a relaxation for the uh, economically weaker and uh, ex-service people. Okay, so there is age relaxation for the reserved category. But if you belong to the general category, then your upper age limit is 30 years. Okay, now let us move on to the most important part of this video that is the selection process. So the selection process, as I said, you should have a valid GATE score. Based on this GATE only you are being evaluated. So the, uh, from this valid GATE score, they will be calling some people based on your marks also. That is if you have a 60 percentage of mark in your engineering and plus you have if you have a valid GATE score in 2018, 19 or 20, you will be called for the personal interview there is no written examination there is only personal interview okay so the stage two is after selecting these people then 
Stage two is personal interview. Now, in the personal interview, they'll be keeping some cutoff marks, right? So this cutoff marks, based on this cutoff marks, they'll be making a final merit list. And in this uh, personal interview, if some people is having tie, means the tie breaker will be your gates seniority list. That is your gates scores seniority list. Okay, so that is a tie breaker. Now, in the final selection, that is if you are being put into the final list, from this final list, they will be selecting some people based on the number of vacancies. And while selecting these people from the final list, they will be giving weightage for 85% of weightage is given to your gate score and only 15% of weightage for the mark is given for the personal interview. Okay, I will tell it once again. The selection process starts from a pre-screening where you will be uh, based on the number of applicants, the applications coming, they will be screening and selecting some people for the personal interview. Okay, so this pre-screening is done based on your, uh, that is whether you are having 60% of mark, whether you are having a valid gate score, they will be selecting some people and then they will be called for the after pre-screening, they will be called for the personal interview. In the personal interview, they will be keeping, keeping some cutoff marks and they will be selecting some pe uh, people from the personal interview and they will be uh, making a final selection list or final merit list. And in this, uh, from this final merit list, they will select the people based on the number of vacancies for each branches. That is for EC and for Triple. there are various branches. Based on these vacancies in various branches, they will be selecting the people and while making this selection, they are giving 85% of weightage for the gate scores of the respective people. And 15% 15, 15 weightage is being given to the personal interview marks. Okay, so that is all about the selection process. I hope it is clear. There is no written test. There is only personal interview. And if you have a valid gate score, there are high chances for you to get selected. And if you look at the salary they are offering, I think that if you have the valid gate score and if you have a 60% in your engineering, you should always try for this job because this is a very, very, very high package. Okay. It is more higher or greater than even ISRO. So please try for this job. Now, the last date for applying for this job is or this recruitment is 31st of March. That is so uh, the application link is active from 2nd of March. That means you can already apply. Uh, and the last date is on 31st of March. I would uh, request you to don't wait till 31st because there is high chances that the site will get busy or uh, rushed. So please to apply for it as soon as possible. Okay. Now, is there any application fees for applying for this post? Yes, there is. 100 rupees, only 100 rupees is there as application fees for the general category. But if you belong to SCST or, dis or person with disabilities or any reserved categories and also for women, there is no application fees. So this is a common thing we are seeing now in all the public sector examination, right? There is no or, uh, fees for women and also the reserved categories. And for, uh, f uh, for male and for general that is, if you belong to general category and if you are male person, then 100 rupees is the application fees. Now, what is the job location or the posting after getting selected in this recruitment? You may get posted in anywhere in India. Okay, so the job location is on any of the uh, locations or branches of Bureau of Indian Standards around the India. And there is a probation they are saying of two years. Okay, so that is all about the recruitment uh, of Bureau of Indian Standards. So I'm telling it once again, there are vacancies for electronics engineering that is EC, there is five vacancies and for Tripoli, there is 19 vacancies. And also there is all uh, the there is vacancies for various other branches. There is for mechanical, civil and there is a lot of other uh, engineering branches they are calling for I will give the uh, link of this notification in the description so if you are interested in applying for this post I would uh, request you to please to apply for it as soon as possible only important thing is a valid gate score there's a lot of people with valid gate score of 2018 or 19 or 20 will be uh, will be updated soon 
So if you have a valid gate score, please do apply for it because the salary is a very, very, very attractive thing to get interested in this job. Okay, so I also wanted to inform you that we are doing preparation classes for electronics competitive examinations of ISRO for technical assistant, BAR, DMRC. So all the competitive examinations of electronics we are focusing on in this channel. So if you are interested in watching any of those videos, please do subscribe to the channel. And also if you want to get updated with this recruitment news also, please do subscribe to the channel. I hope that you found this video useful. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and share these videos with maximum of job aspirant friends. And if you want more videos, I'm telling it again, please do subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching and keep on watching. Thank you.